What's up everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and today what I'm going to show you is how to create instruments with Logic's very own sampler using my new sample pack, Anthology. Now before we get into the meat of this video, if you want to learn more about what Anthology is, all you got to do is hit the link down in the description. And obviously don't forget to hit the like button as well as hit the subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell. You got all these buttons to smash so it's going to be loads of fun already, isn't it? Now obviously if we dig into Anthology, we've got all these keys here that have the corresponding chords within those keys. Now to create this instrument within Sampler, uh, first of all what we've got to do is obviously choose a key. So I'm going to choose the key of D flat. And here's a quick example of basically what we're going to recreate. I've already created this before, but obviously we're going to go through the steps of what I did to get this sound and create this instrument. So obviously you can go and create one for yourself. So if we just demo what I've got here. Now that chord progression is just about ready to obviously have some uh, crazy ass lo-fi drums uh, right behind it. So if we're going to double that track, I will take all the effects off first and foremost. And let's take off Sampler again, just so we can start again. And uh, I'll walk you through what I've done to, to get this sound. Now, if you want to create an instrument, the first place that you want to go to is, is mapping over here. And if we get Anthology back up again, now it's important to mention that if you have individual samples that you want to import into this sampler to actually create the instrument, and if you've got them all in one folder, you can quite easily just highlight all of them and drag them onto the mapping area. But because of the way Anthology is obviously laid out, because we have multiple different versions of uh, these same chords, we have a down strum and a pluck. We're going to go through and manually import all of these chords one by one. So if we start with A flat, all I'm going to do is down strums. I generally like to, to, to start off on, on C1, but dragging these chords the way we did, they did overlap right here. So we're going to just edge them in a little bit so they land on one note. So we're going to do it for all of these chords. So we've got the A flat, the A flat in version one. It's going to go on the C sharp above it. And then, just getting away from me, mate. Uh, A flat one, so A flat seven, down strum. If we just repeat this process for the entire chord set that we have, um, so I will fast forward through this. Okay, so we've imported all of those sounds onto the sampler itself. So basically what we have now is an instrument of the um, chords that are within the key of D flat. So basically to create a chord progression with this new instrument that we've just created, all we have to do is really play around with the, the chords that are within it because all of these chords are within the same key. Musically, it can never really go wrong. You may not like the sound that we create, but 
from a music theory standpoint, anything that we play now will actually make sense. Now, we've got that nice sort of tone from earlier. So basically what I'm gonna do is replay a progression. It may not be obviously the same one from earlier. I may just play around with it a little bit more, maybe add some different chords. And, um, and uh, we're gonna recreate that sort of tone so we can turn this into a fully fledged sampler instrument. So first, let's actually record. Maybe that would be a good thing to do, George. Uh, so, so we've got this instrument. Uh, let's take the bars off, let's just be a bit free. I'm not even gonna put the metronome on because I just like to sort of free flow these things because I generally do edit them afterwards anyway. Let's turn that off, that is distracting. Um, So what we just played there is obviously quite um, down the sort of genre of uh, being lo-fi, being a lo-fi progression. So we've got a nice little progression there. Um, let's just, because you can't see this window on my other screen, uh, let's just tidy this up a bit. Just obviously knock it into bar. And that might not be exactly on but we have to change that. Just knock that into place. and then we'll obviously double the region. And then uh, let's cut this off, hit T, yeah, the scissors, uh, shorten, obviously. Oop. Let's get rid of these two region areas. Double that, Command R. Obviously some of the things that you can do to obviously play around with how these sample sounds a little bit more is going over to the zone editors because as you can see with these recordings we've got a little bit of space here and the reason we sort of included that within these samples is because you know this pack is for actually for not just people that produce hip-hop not just people that produce lo-fi sometimes chords hit on uh, the two and the four instead of the one and the three so to just allow a little bit of space for people to be as creative as possible uh, with uh, the, these chords, that's what we've gone ahead and done. So we're gonna chop off those little bits of the chord, just so the chords hit nicer. This is sample one. So we're just editing these samples. There's a little one like that. It's a little bit more on bar. It sounds a little bit more ready to have something put under it. Now, we want to um, edit this tone a bit, and we can do that easily by obviously using some third party plugins such as RC20, which is going to give it a nice um, lo fi, obviously, type sound. And one of the presets that I actually love, and I generally like to take things away from this preset and add things to it, it's just a nice. Uh, ground to sort of start from to uh, achieve a lo-fi sort of tone so which simply with this on let's play this
So that's sounding good, that's sounding good. So really, now that we're sort of happy with um, the instrument that we've created, let's just name it the key of, well, let's just name the group, sorry, the key of D flat. And if we want to obviously come back to this instrument, we just need to save it as obviously a preset. Um, so let's do that. And yeah, key of D flat. Now you've got the obviously the presets saved. And so what else can we do to um, make this tone a little bit more ready for a track? Because that's the whole point of this of this sample pack really is to um, allow you to have creative freedom uh, as much as possible, but make it easy to be able to actually create chord progressions from scratch with very little knowledge of theory itself. So I'm going to turn all these off and I'm going to use a little bit of the flanger on Nebula, sorry, by Soundspot. This is a plugin that I do love to obviously use quite a lot. It's a multi-effects plugin and it, it sounds good. So that is generally quite how I made this little tone here and obviously created the sampler instrument along with it. See the chord progression is obviously a little bit different to what we created there. that is pretty much it. Now that is ready for obviously drums to go behind it. So if you want to check out some of the beats that we actually made with this sample pack, go ahead and hit the link down in the description. Obviously don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, the like button. You've got a lot of buttons to hit here. So I'm depending on you, please. If you like this one, show some love. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.